Good morning. It's life a party, party hard Everything I know from growing up said I'm gonna stay the same Cause I always evolve But the thing is I'll never change I'll be going up like Oh my god, I'm counting constellations I see five stars making hard work Feel like vacation I'll be on my tiger's claw I've been earning stripes But I've been patient In it for the long haul Hey, wheel up for my family The whole squad Cause everyone I'm taking All this cake be nothing If none of my people taste it If you weigh me down But I love you I can take it what I had the whole time, the very thing I've been chasing down Make room at the I started YouTube in 2019 and it was just a hobby. I think it still is. It, it's very therapeutic for me. So this is the first time I'm actually doing a vlog on my channel because my usual content is usually idea-based where there would be challenges that I'm trying or I'm taking you within a journey of something, you know? It's very isolated. What I show you is very isolated. Like all of you can relate. It is the end of the year. It's our last chance to make the most out of 2021. I know it has been a tough year. At least for me, I can personally say it has been a very terrible I've been tough year. having a really bad anxiety for the past week. But the moment that the clock struck midnight last night and it turned December 31, automatically my mood just changed because this is my favorite month of the year. To start with, it is my birthday so today's december 1st and i'm turning 33 in two more days so my birthday is december 3. it's one thing that i don't share with y'all because although you see the vulnerabilities and the journey and the results based on the previous content that i was producing you don't really get to know me on a personal level and that's what i'm really hoping that's my goal for vlogmas it's gonna be raw it's gonna be candid it's gonna be spontaneous and it's gonna be mundane to be honest i fear that it's gonna be boring Boring. but for me my favorite vloggers are those that I connect with on a personal level Emma Chamberlain Samantha Joe they just try to do this relatable chores and whenever I feel lonely when I'm eating alone or I'm just winding down these are the vloggers that I constantly watch because I feel like I'm with them like I have a friend especially during the pandemic when so isolated whether it's by choice or not I really apologize for the construction noise because there's always construction in this area But the next thing that's gonna happen is the next big thing that I am looking forward to. You see that mess behind me? Hold on. You see this mess behind me? It's a whole lot of mess because the next thing that I am announcing or something that is also overwhelming me at the same time is that I'm moving out, moving places, I'm shifting. Yes, so there would be a lot of packing and decluttering and you'll be seeing me shifting from one place to the other in this first week of December. That's why I've been doing a lot of deep cleaning chores for today. I just washed my sheets because I want the new place to be open and and cleansed. It's just following the bleaching this bad boys like there's no two bottom. I'm bleaching this like I'm bleaching my soul. In hindsight, I truly gain everything I earned. I learned from I want to change. transfer to that new place with a cleansed vibe. I know I'm taking this opportunity to vlog during vlog mass, where vlog mass, vlog mass. How the f do you pronounce that? 
I know I'm taking this opportunity to do a daily vlog during Vlogmas. And some of y'all are probably expecting a lot of festive content coming from me, but I'm sorry, that's not gonna Aww. happen. I'm trying, I'm gonna try because deep down inside, I still grew up in the Philippines. And Christmas is a huge thing in the Philippines. That's another fact that I don't think everyone knows on this channel. At least I never really confirmed it or announced it but yeah that's another fact about me so you get to know me better so christmas is a huge thing in the philippines and through the years i think the spirit of christmas slowly faded away because i'm also mixed race so i come from multicultural family but at the same time the influence of christmas and christianity is so huge in the philippines that it's still within my blood you get what i mean because you know but the moment that Burmans hits the entire Philippines is full of Christmas decorations. Everyone's planning their Christmas parties. Everyone is going Christmas shopping. Everyone's decorating their places. You'll hear Christmas songs all over. And it's just such a vibe. The Filipinos really celebrate Christmas in a whole new level. But then, let me share with you something personal. So the thing is, during those days, right? Like, so there was this huge hoo-ha about Christmas and how festive it should be, how everyone's in this spirit of giving and forgiving and just celebrating and starting anew. For me personally, I feel like there was so much anxiety surrounding the festive activities or the holidays because I felt like it was a reminder that I was not happy about the relationships that I've had growing up. I love my family to death I have heaps of friends it's just that I feel like everyone else in comparison was so happy compared to me and it wasn't because of my situation I think it's because of my mindset and it's only now that I'm getting older that I'm starting to realize those triggers sorry if this is such a downer conversation especially for the first day of December it's not really a bad thing I'm just trying to explain to you how I felt growing up in such a Christmassy vibe and I'm sure a lot of y'all can relate to this it's just not being spoken of because I feel like everyone expects everyone to be happy during Christmas I'm not saying that I'm unhappy I'm not saying that I'm lonely I'm just saying I'm not just as joyous as this media portrays it to be you know although I gotta say there is some magic attached to it I still feel that vibe too so I spent 24 years in the Philippines and then now I'm living in Singapore and Singapore is a melting pot and not everyone would celebrate Christmas I'm sure in different parts of the world not everyone celebrates Christmas right that's why it's always better to say happy holidays so slowly that spirit of Christmas was fading I don't know is it age let me know. Can you relate to everything that I'm saying? If you could relate to what I'm saying, let me know down below so that I know I'm not alone. I guess it's normal too, so that everyone else that's watching this that isn't in the festive mood or not as high, so that everyone would feel like we're not alone. You know what I mean? There's strength in numbers. I don't know that. I still enjoy Christmas. I still enjoy the festivities. It's just, I guess there's a mismatch in the expectations versus reality. That's all I'm saying. So since I'm a huge fan of setting expectations, all I'm saying is first thing you can expect is expect daily vlogs from here on for the month of December. I'll try my best to do that. Second thing that you can expect, it's gonna be raw because I'm gonna have to do it every day. To be honest, I don't feel like I can. I have what it takes to really produce that much in a short period of time. Vlogmas hasn't even started and to be honest, I'm already very much overwhelmed. This is something new. It's out of my comfort zone. I haven't produced such a raw and candid and spontaneous content in my channel. But the beauty in that is that you get to know me on a personal level without the hoo-hahs. And I wish that you can just stay for my personality and for the relationship that we're gonna build that noise is just so annoying I'm really sorry I'm really hoping that in the next place that I'm moving into uh, can I even talk let's see what it is <laughs> Oh, 
I'm really hoping that the new place won't have this much noise, although it's it's not really a residential area, there's lots of commercial spaces in there. Uh, I'm still hoping that there's not gonna be much noise because I feel like it hinders from me communicating with you. You get what I mean? Anyway... I woke up in such a happy mood. Again, there's so much things to look forward to this month. It's gonna be my birthday. It's the last month of the year where I feel like I can still make it count. I feel like it also represents hope because it's gonna be the new year. It's festive. A lot of people are into that spirit of giving or just happiness in general as we all should be. And another thing that I'm looking forward to is the fact that I'm moving places. So I'm excited to move out start a new, decorate that new place, and start a new routine in there, and just experience new things. To be honest, it's a very scary thing because there's so much changes that's happening in my life right now. And I think it's just very mm, serendipitous. I think it's very, um, what's the term for that? Oh my gosh. It's very uh, coincidental. No, this, there's a better term for that. But it's, it's, <laughs> <laughs> for the lack of English, I think my vocab is just running low for just it's I think it's just great that a lot of things are happening in my life right now and Vlogmas is a good opportunity to take you with me on a daily for you to see the progress and for you to actually see how my life is gonna turn out and I am looking forward to us hanging out when you're eating or when you're on your transport or when you're about to sleep uh, or basically when you're feeling lonely or maybe you don't have to feel lonely to even accompany me, right? If you just need company, I'm your girl. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's all that I can share with you today. Please bear with me because it's, it's my first time to vlog really. I just wish that even if there's nothing much exciting that's gonna happen in my life, I think you still stick around because I wanna have this friendship going on. See you tomorrow! Bye!